We've got something really exciting happening in the waters off of Sanibel Island, Florida. It's the only place in the world right now where you can see an underwater art gallery. Here to tell us all about it is Mike Campbell. He's the environmental specialist for Lee County Natural Resources. Mike, this is really cool. Tell us about this Mohawk project and how it came about. Well, last year we sank the Mohawk as a veterans memorial reef and a photographer from Austria came, uh, photographed the ship and uh, came up with these very unique art pieces uh, to put on the ship. It's uh, a really special project because it brings uh, together two communities that aren't normally meant uh, to be together, which is the art community and the diving community. How does the marine environment affect the art though? Well, that's another special thing about it is actually uh, the stuff that grows on the art, uh, the corals and tunicates and things are actually part of the art process. So it will come up and we'll clear coat it kind of like a clear coat on a car. And uh, that will be the finished product, with, which makes each piece uh, original. You know, is there any concern about how the art itself will affect the marine environment? No, everything has uh, neutral uh, components to it, which means that it's not going to have any uh, adverse effects on the marine environment. What about diving here in Southwest Florida? Anything that we need to be concerned about or that's unique about diving down here? Well, the unique thing about Southwest Florida diving is we have a lot of very large animals. Um, off of Sanibel Island is actually the whale shark capital of North America, which is, uh, they're referred to as the gentle giant because of their docile nature. And it's a once in a lifetime opportunity for divers to see one of those species. Oh, it sounds exciting. Now, real quick, hurricane season, of course, is here. Uh, are you concerned about this artificial reef if a hurricane threatened? Well, uh, certainly those of us who live along the coast are all, you know, we're aware of what hurricanes can do. Uh, many people think about the wind and the uh, storm surge is the only problem, but underneath the water, uh, large waves can certainly have an effect on, on not just artificial reefs, but any reefs. So it's always in the back of our mind, but you know, we live here and you know, we're well aware of the risks that we take. Well, Mike Campbell from Lee County, thank you so much for sharing this with us. And you know, I hope someday to get down there and take a look at that. It seems very cool, an underwater art gallery.